hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings i know we're a little bit behind how are you pisces i hope you guys are doing amazing let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance before we get into the reading i want to give you guys a quick update and let you know that we are now available to book consultations if you guys are trying to get consultations now is the time to reach out to us as we do quickly book uh we are now booking for march and april um <clears throat> so just letting you guys know um all right let's see what's going on with you pisces what is the message for pisces sun moon rising venus in regards to love and romance how are you doing pisces i hope you guys are doing amazing i hope you're doing awesome let's see what's going on with you guys okay so we have three cards that came out these are the cards that are currently symbolizing you or representing how you're viewing the situation we have the nine of wands the eight of pentacles and the ace of wands okay so for some of you guys you may be feeling a little bit guarded uh, there could be almost the situation of feeling like you have to protect yourself. This could be rumors that you're dealing with. This could be um, people coming to you or hearing about the person of your interest and feeling like you have to work twice as hard to try to get their attention or their focus. There may be lack of communication as of now. Um, you do have the Ace of Wands here, so there is a new opportunity that is going to be unfolding, uh, some new change that is coming towards you in regards to this connection or in regards to your partner. I feel that for some of you guys, there may be like a lack of connection or communication. It could be because your partner or the person of your interest has a lot of things going on in their life right now. They could be like consumed with work. Um, they could be dealing with a lot of trying to stabilize their life. And I feel that for some, it could represent like they just have a lot of, a lot of responsibilities around them. Now, how the partner or person of your interest is viewing the situation, we have the 10 of pentacles. So very bountiful type of energy. This is, um, the home life. Uh, it could be that they're very comfortable, for some of you guys, it could be that it's usually you, the one that's feeling like you're putting a lot of work and effort into this relationship, Pisces. And there is a feeling of wanting your partner to be a little bit more stable or to have the desire uh, to be more inspired, to be more, I don't want to say competitive, but it's almost like, like you want the person to meet you halfway there's almost like this feeling of like they're comfortable with the situation and you're wanting them to either communicate or to show you that they want you show you that they are willing to put in the effort the way you've been putting effort pisces Now we have the Eight of Cups here. So the Eight of Cups could represent, um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is married. For others of you, you may be dealing or they may be dealing with you and you are in a committed relationship. But the way they're viewing the situation is they're walking away from a situation that is not really going to bring them the fulfillment or happiness that they're looking for. Um, for others of you, it could be, it could represent that they're walking away from you if you're the one that's committed um, because they're no longer feeling like they want to put any more effort or energy towards this connection. Now, we have a few cards that popped out here, and I'm going to take them. Um, you may be dealing with a fire energy. We have King of Wands here, and we have your card here, Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups. So what they're telling me here is, I feel that someone in this connection may be committed or maybe still stuck on the past with someone from their past. Um, and how they're seeing the situation is they don't want, they don't feel like anything can come from this. So they're walking away and
give me one second because I'm trying to get clarity here. Okay, I see. Okay, so what they're showing me here is there is a situation that is going to be unfolding, Pisces, where the person of your interest could have been in a committed relationship. However, there is almost like a feeling of unawareness that you were emotionally invested or interested in them. And it could be because you're dealing with someone else or it could be that they're aware that you're in a relationship. Um, and they're, they're making a choice of walking away from a past connection but it's like they're trying to revisit the past. They're trying to come back to the past. But it's something It's something of a person from the past that is unbeknownst to you. Or that is going to be coming out as a surprise. It could be that you were invested in someone that is not really emotionally invested in you, Pisces. Because the Six of Cups represents genuine connection with the Moon card, though. It's like there is a person that they're interested in or emotionally invested in, but you're not aware of them. And it's not a person that you're aware of from their past. It's someone that is, it could be connected to you or in your surroundings. But I feel that with this moon card, things are going to be revealed. If you are dealing, Pisces, with the person that is committed or has been committed in the past, but they, there was like a temporary separation or something there, I feel that there's going to be news about this person walking away from that commitment or from that relationship, and you're hopeful that they may be returning to you or wanting to invest time in you, but they've been dealing with or emotionally invested in someone else, and I feel that that's their choice. So it's almost like you're left feeling like, what the hell just happened? Like, how is it that they came out of a relationship and would tell me they didn't want to commit because they weren't ready? But now that they are ready because they're no longer in this commitment and they're walking away, things are coming out to the open about someone that they are emotionally invested in. But it's not with you, Pisces. This is like a very... I feel like it's going to connect with you on different levels for some. Um, for some of you guys, it's very to the point. You were dealing with a person that was very guarded and they came off as they had a lot of things going on. But in reality, they were chasing someone else. There was some type of commitment here or something that was they weren't really able to walk away could be because of children children could be involved here now with the eight of cups though the eight of cups it's like they were entertaining this though but they got to the point of making a decision to walk away but it's not walking away towards you it's walking away towards walking away from the past towards a new beginning with someone that they are emotionally invested in and it's like you were here wanting to create the stability or wanting to see where things would lead. Maybe you were even aware that they were dealing with like a baby mama, baby daddy type of energy. But they would tell you they weren't dealing with them sexually, however they were. And they were trying to rekindle that, but they figured out or they came to the realization that it wasn't working out but they were still entertaining someone else. And I feel that that's what's coming out to the open because you're over here with the nine of wands. You feel tired and exhausted. You've been putting a lot of effort in this relationship or perhaps putting, putting up with certain red flags, but the ace of wands is they were, they were busy. Yeah, but not with work. They were busy chasing a new passion, a new desire. And I see you confused over here. Spirits, please show me. Why not? Whoa, too many cards here. Okay, we're going to have this one. So we have Queen of Pentacles. It could be that they're walking towards an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy. 
It could be a person that is a bit older than them. Prince of Wands, they're taking action, moving towards uh, this individual. So it could be a person that is older than them, like one to three years older than them. Uh, with the Prince of Wands, they're definitely taking, they're taking the plunge. They're jumping into this connection or running or rushing towards this Queen of Pentacles here. Um, I feel heavily like this is going to come out of the blue for you. Like you weren't expecting that outcome or you weren't aware. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that you've been aware because the queen of pentacles usually indicates, you know, someone that is committed, just like the king of, of pentacles, not necessarily depending on the cards that follow. But it's almost like you've been aware of a baby mama or a baby daddy that you thought they were done with. And it was mostly to do with children here with the Six of Cups. At least that's what they tried to portray. But then you're finding out that there was a thing between them still. And they're walking away from that, but they're walking towards the moon. And the moon is secrets. Things that have been kept in the hidden. And they're walking towards this queen of pentacles here. And they're taking quick action. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, this is a third party situation. It's a messy, messy situation to be honest. Um, now for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're telling you here is with the nine of wands, you feel guarded. You feel like you're putting your energy or focus towards work or some type of achievement. The Ace of Wands, however, does represent a new beginning. Now, if you've dealt with people from the past or an ex-partner, they may be coming back around trying to contact or communicate with you. However, pay attention to certain details about them. As an example, if they're trying to hang out with you, but it's at night or they only contact you at certain hours of the day or the night, it's because they have another relationship. And it's like they're trying to lead you on all the while doing this undercover or under wraps or in secret with the moon card here. So they're not being very straightforward. My advice to you is don't entertain that energy. If you feel like there's red flags going off, listen to your intuition and walk away from that because this is messy, you guys. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. I hope this gives you some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best, and we will see each other soon. Love you guys. Bye.